Welcome back to the Celtic Republic in the road to 56. So, we have pretty much lost the air war over Western France. We just do not have the numbers to deal with this. Best I can really do is maybe just try and build up our air, air force again. And in hindsight, I should have gone for fighters, not close air support. On the plus side, we are holding the ground. And this guy, this guy is, he is getting even better. Because we're mostly, um, entrenching, I'm actually going to go with scavenger here, so we can just keep taking as much of, their, of the enemy supplies we can get away with. And I'm just going to change this to add an extra infantry battalion on here, just to make it nice and beefy. Like, this is not really good. Ooh, says we have... We do not have enough infantry equipment for this. Or is that saying it because we haven't upgraded? No matter. So yeah, we're very short of oil, planes, fuel. What we are not short of is guns and forts. They are not going to be able to push past this. Yep. And most of our ships are old and outdated too, which doesn't help. What's this guy got? Submarine detection. Hmm. He only has these... Uh, Recon class cruisers, which are frankly awful, but they're not meant to do much more than just recon. Maybe I should give them torpedoes, maybe not. But the extra submarine detection would be helpful. So I'm a few episodes in, and this is starting to look like it's going the same way as my previous United Scandinavia playthrough. A whole lot of us just holding the line in one particular province until we have a chance to push. And again, we just didn't have enough ship or, or planes to really do that. But we made up for it on the ground. Yet we have a lot of stuff we've captured. I am building some heavy cruisers to try and replace some of the ones of the ships I've lost, but I'm not them too much. I'm going to focus mainly on submarines. This guy got. These are submarine experts. So, I think torpedoes. So, yeah, this might end up being a bit, bit stalemate for a bit. Ooh, that, that is ominous. And I'm actually tempted to just put, put this fleet in here to make one giant death stack. And off. Wait a sec. Eh, sorry about that. Basically, I probably should have done this from the start to have one big death stack to to beat the beat up the Germans with. Whereas this Irish naval forces are now focusing on submarine submarine warfare only. I know it's not glamorous, but they just need they don't need to do much. They just need to give subs away while we deal with the heavy I create a new fleet for this. Assign to this. What's pain of my? Oh, they have shore bombardment against us. Where's 
Up with some of these subs here in the Bay of Briskay as well. I know they're not going to be very useful to us, so you might. So, commentary here and then um, Germany have switched. I did foresaw between. We're shooting down a lot of planes from our ships, but we're not doing much submarine side of things. Second thoughts, do one more of these. There's very little we can do. Oh, that's interesting. For a collaboration with the Belgian government controlling the uranium mines of Katanga, we received a shipment of this precious mineral. So, nuclear research speed will be increased by 15%. Is that likely to actually be useful to me? Probably not. Victory is so I don't care. This is a defeat. We lost four destroyers against all this. Sure. this. Yeah, this is I'm starting to think maybe I should have done another do next time I try this place out. Go side with the axis and try concrete England just to see if I can do that. And we lost some destroyers and cruisers here, so you have to remember there's a reason why I never use the Bay of Biscay's or waiting place. The bad place to do it is taking the shell because it's a shallow sea, twice as likely to be spotted. We'll go with this will of the people thing because it'll reduce our supply consumption even further. Naval invasion of Western France. So, where are they trying to land? Here. Two. Send two of them down. Well, they took breast. There they. And they are going to be pretty much dead soon because this is a garrison town, which means they can do almost nothing. I am kind of annoyed at myself for doing that. Marched into press, liberating our people from Italian oppression. Hmm, experienced soldier losses would be good. Bike consumption would also be good. Of course, now the Germans are starting to try pushing in, so I'll put these two back on, back on this line. Now, what was I doing? Right, having got this for the extra shipyards and the ability to produce screens quicker. Hmm, shipbuilding context. All that useful. Production for air doctrine as well. Let's see now. 
probably bump up our submarines because they're the ones doing most of the work, I think. It's a victory. I am okay with that. Not. So that's a victory because we shot something down. This is probably a defeat because we didn't. Them on air superiority over here at least. Now I need to finally get some air. I never actually got around to doing this because I just have not had the time. And we have very slight air superiority, but we're losing planes a lot. We've disrupted them enough to just stop them actually doing things. Yep, they're still they're still throwing themselves at Nant. Like, what were they thinking? There. We're starting to gain fuel back, but I don't know how, how much of that is because most of our ships are in dry dock repairing. Even with the extra dockyards and stuff it's just slow nationalist spain wants to buy some of our very old naval bombers why not I would take that as a victory. These are all. A bit more with our fuels problem. And I'm going to jump ahead and get at this because it's 50 days thanks to one of our research bonuses. There's no reason not to. God damn it, Axe Head. Nope. We are actually um acquiring a lot of captured material, which is going to help. Importantly. I have enough to actually keep this infantry unit on. Neat. Not much. I think that probably doesn't account for upgrade as well, though. So they're probably still going to keep using the older ones. I'm okay with that. Ooh, this is not good. So, every time it looks like they're starting to push, we actually do manage to rally. Right, Valiant has a, 
has heavy fires, she needs to pull off and pull her back and repair. Very touch and go here. We capture something from the Greater Germanic Reich. Do they actually go and call themselves that? Ah, that was probably not my best idea. Get rid of this because we're that short of infantry equipment. And better people than me have, have tested this and found that it's better to have full strength divisions that a smaller amount of full strength divisions than lots of under strength ones. Yeah. In average. These guys on their toes all the time. ED construction and repair speed, we do need that. Light chain is Supply consumption and supply truck attrition would be really helpful. I also do need to start getting armor trains because we're losing them too. Of course. We started losing planes again. Never ends. I think I'll give them this because being able to capture more equipment means we can supplant our forces just a little bit better. Well, let's just give us uh, extra consumer. I don't think we can do that. Seems to look like we might get pushed out of Nantes. Took them a good, took them a good while, but. A little bit of micromanage to try and get some done. 
Ah, so I took the shed place. I didn't even notice that. And we don't have enough weight for us for this, so down to two heavy guns. We lose a little bit of air attack. We lose some agility because of the weight we have. Plus, we get some extra armor and self-seeding fuel. It costs a hell of a lot more, though. much about this isn't much use to me I might just update these recon class class cruisers wherever they are some anti-air onto them. Eat this as well. For crying out loud, why do I have... Why do I only have one cruiser type? Like... Sometimes. update all of them. I know it's that's all. Um, yeah, this was probably not my best. It's here. Let's see now. Trainers, not some not too much, but support artillery would be really helpful. This would be helpful because research research bonuses towards extraction would really help our resource problem. And this on. Might as well get this and try and buff up our infantry equipment even more. Or attack this fella. Ugh. Let's have enough for overwhelming fire, which is what we really need. Elastic defense. Really helpful. equipment for naval patrol bomber. I think these have had their day. Other times, well, and I may as well sell up all these old close air support as well. Some extra having some extra radar should help with the um, air superiority issue. Well, the Yanks are willing to buy a lot of this stuff. I'm perfectly fine with that. 
to help bump up all this extra stuff. I prefer to attack this fella, Major Wimberly. I think he's going to go with Overwhelming Fire once I have that unlocked because... Ah, that's not much use. I'll leave it so then. Right, another hidden glass and a destroyer out. Really annoys me right now is that I do not have enough batteries for the for this count for the expanded departments. I almost always do at this point, but I have to trade away so many factories just to get oil. How much fish do we have? Holy shit, we have actually done a fair amount. Like we've taken 38,000 casualties. So, bas so basically, we're losing... The we're I don't think we've got the... Gra the air war down. And the naval war is a bit up in the air, but we are holding our own. So yeah, this is almost certainly a repeat of my... No, it's just, um, Scandinavia plate. And we are 2% towards capitulation because they took our, they took the Shetlands. Bad idea for me. Okay. So, flash. I have no idea if assigning a Mayo here does anything. After Northern Mining, I think I'm going to go into, um, you know, I could probably go with Plane Factory would be really handy. So with this, the extra fire is so handy as well. I think I'm going to go for a support trade after and then get into research grants and attract investors. Bother with that or to right now. Oh, I can upgrade this. Extra agility? And if I do, put this slightly back. Sort of, for sure, just about every. This has to
I'm actually gonna leave it leave it there for now because I've been at this been at this for a while. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. Next time if I probably gonna continue this for for another few episodes at least, but next time I might actually try backing from Scotland into England and seeing how that goes. Or maybe I'll try something else. Got any suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. For now.